So I owe my elbow skills to my uh, teachers, uh, Professor Daniel Mock and uh, Shonwood Dispol from Mayo Clinic. Uh, I will show this example. is a 60-year-old gentleman with a distal fracture. As you see, is a condylar fracture, as well as the capitulum and the trochlea is fractured in the coronal plane. Uh, it's always better to get a 3D CT of these injuries. You could have a visual uh, illustration of the extent of the fracture, which is distal, humerus, comminuted, trochlea separate, and capitulum separate, condyle fracture. So what did they do for this patient? Fix it. Because the 60-year-old is not elderly, you should try to fix as uh, was demonst as was uh, put forth by Radhakan Pandey. The primary aim is to fix. Here I have used the postulateral plate for the radial side to catch the capitulum trochlear fragment into fragment screws from the medial plate, column plate, and also a volicronum osteotomy in such a case is indicated. So this is the fixation, and the patient uh, had a stable fixation to mobilize from day one uh, post-operative, and that is the range of movement he had in the elbow. So any fixable distal comminuted fracture should be fixable. So moving on to the next one, this is another patient, again, distal humerus, shattered, capitulum, trochlea, but the patient is 70-year-old lady with the minimal uh, demand on her function. She wanted a good pain relief, and I did her total elbow arthroplasty. The total elbow arthroplasty currently available in India is a linked prosthesis only. We do not have uh, hemiarthroplasty or unlinked component. So this is the uh, being used. So why we talked about elbow replacement, as you hear so far, we have had tremendous improvement in the design, understanding the biomechanics of the elbow, we have prosthesis now. This is the Conrad Murray prosthesis, showing the articulation and also sloppy hinge. This is not a rigid hinge. If you put a rigid hinge in the elbow, this will fail. This is my key message to the audience in India. So this is a sloppy hinge with the poly articulation, which will take away the stress. So there is a less loosening, less torque on the femoral and the ulnar interface. And this is the other type which I had used before in the UK, which is now uh, going out of the market is the discovery elbow again, similar principle. So we have the anterior strut to take the stress. So that will uh, restore the stability, reduce the loosening. And you have this uh, pre-contoured uh, ulna to fit into the proximal ulnar stem. And you have a poly articulation. So long-term survival is good. And we have already listened to Joydi, we touched based on this. How does total elbow replacement perform in a fracture in elderly? 44 patients uh, followed up for 10 years. The revision surgery is 18%. So 82% success rate. So that is the survival, five year and 10 year in a rheumatoid patient and a non-rheumatoid patient is around 92%. So good long-term survival with total elbow. This is the soft, soft cord study, multi-center French prospective study of 87 patients with a mean follow of 35 months. And we have very good score of uh, Mayo elbow performance score as a fifth dash score around 80, 80 to 90%. But please note the complication rate of 27% and reoperation of 9%. So now question is what to do, whether to fix in a doubtful case or replace. So we have this uh, systematic review and meta-analysis of 27 studies of 563 patients, which shows similar functional outcome in terms of scoring and range of movement, but there is a trend towards higher complication and reoperation rate with ORAF group. And major complications were more in ORAF group. Again, if you want to look at rotator uh, or CT, uh, Joydeep has showed this study, 42 patients, and better functional score and improved range of movement but reduced reoperation rate with elbow arthroplasty compared to 27% in the ORIF group. So the indication in my practice is this, comminuted distal end humerus fracture in a low demand physiologically elderly patient and for fracture that is not reconstructable or the patient has a pre-existing degenerative or inflammatory arthritis, the patient should be medically fit and compliant and the surgical skin and the implant equipment is available. Contraindication, definitely, there is a history of some patients come with a fracture scenario like this, uh, had a road traffic accident, side sweep, triceps gone, soft tissue problem, coding infection, or brachial plexus injury. We have all sort of combination, and they, should, they are not the right indication for total elbow replacement. Uh, the complications is going to be dealt by uh, Dr. Anand Arya. 
uh, but you could see there are uh, there is a revision rate of 13% with elbow replacement and you have a biological complication infection wound healing problem ulnar palsy and the mechanical complication loosening dislocation fracture so you need to be aware of that elbow replacement should not be taken lightly so technique how to be uh, safe good soft tissue care create full thickness skin flap avoid excessive retraction careful tissue handling because we are doing this operation for somebody over the age of 70 careful hemostasis and use of a drain and splint and elevation for the first 48 hours then start gentle mobilization uh, it is that good to always identify and protect protect the ulnar nerve throughout the surgery gentle handling and no retraction transpose only if required uh, approaches could be on triceps on approach or the triceps thumb approach which has been uh, discussed by deepin and then ready the humerus preparation you don't need to be rigorous because when you're planning to do total elbow uh, replacement for a fracture scenario you are going to simply excise the condyle and uh, you don't worry about the stability because it's a link to prosthesis so excise the condyle largest the size possible anterior strut graft it is very important if there is a gap you have to put a strut graft to reduce the stress on the top force and correct rotational alignment in the proximal humerus ulnar preparation is the key you have to visualize the base of the coronoid and it has to be inside the medullary canal of the ulna i have seen elbow replacement done uh, with the ulna stem outside the metaphysis so if you are in doubt you have an x ray in theater and check the direction of the hole the final implantation can be done uh, with linked and then cementing in or you separate three cement the component the humerus first and the ulna second and then link at the uh, final one minute time you have to do that the, this is the post to tr uh, picture and the post op treatment i usually keep them in drain for 24 to 48 hours cryo compression therapy compression tubular dressing and gentle active and assisted mobilization from day to post operative so this is an example of a couple of patients uh, as a 65 year old lady known rheumatoid arthritis is a pre existing inflammatory condition she had a bilateral tko before left elbow pain and stiffness for 3 years now recent history of fall and then increase in pain so that's her uh, pre op range of movement a uh, pre op symptomatic condition you see that it is bending a little bit but it is very unstable sideways So that's the uh, x-ray she had a lateral condyle uh, fracture non union on a rheumatoid arthritic elbow and she wants good use of the, el- the elbow the only successful way to do this is use use a link total elbow replacement process so that's the joint so this case i did with biomet discovery elbow system which is a triceps uh, tongue approach i have used here and uh, that is the paraoperative and that is the bone closure and the post operative x-ray so all now we could see that there is immediate post operative x ray i usually keep the elbow in extension for the first 24 hours and then start mobilization because it's easy to gain flexion but it's difficult to gain extension so that is her uh, but the three band is support day three uh, post operative doing independent uh, flexion of the and that is her okay. the clinic at the two months follow up stable left elbow now subsequently she had the right elbow problem so i already operated on her right elbow as well for rheumatoid arthritis so another case example a 67 year old lady after road traffic accident that is the extent of a distal humerus fracture this is not reconstructable and she is 68 uh well there is a possibility of a hemiarthroplasty option if we have the prosthesis uh, but we decided to do a uh, total elbow replacement here with the conrod morey system so this is the paraoperative approach and that's the ulna being dissected isolated and pr- protected in its place uh, there is no ro- no need of routine uh, transposing and there is a wound closure and post op x ray and that is uh, this is the anterior strut it has to be close to the anterior femoral cortex if it is not you have to fill it with the graft taken from the condyle bone so that is at uh, day 3 post operative with the elastic compression uh, you been addressing and then active flexion extension it is very important in the post practice scenario to start early mobilization because sometimes they have a risk of hypertrophic ossification that might uh, deter your final outcome so primary elbow replacement for fractures uh, gives predictable functional outcome early range of movements and return to activities uh, and we are not waiting for any bony union uh, so it's good and no risk of metal work failure uh, or arthritis if you use a implant so but beware of the bone loss of the bone stock mechanical wear and also the complication risk thank you very much